Well, as you can see, um, I've uh, got the oil pump off. So uh, <laughs> this is all pretty nerve wracking for me. When I was a kid, I used to race um, junior autocross and I um, decided to rebuild my engine in my car, which was a 100E, Ford 100E side valve engine. And uh, took the thing apart, um, put it all back together, tried to get it to start. It jammed. Me and my friends rocked it in our drive because we thought um, the starter motor was stuck. Eventually, there was a loud grunching noise. And what had happened was the oil pump had seized. And the oil pump was driven off a worm drive off the camshaft. And basically, it stripped all of the um, gearing off the uh, camshaft and off the worm drive. Um, there was the oil pump pump at one end of that sort of 90-degree uh, shaft, and at the other end was the distributor. So we knew what had happened because the distributor wasn't turning. Uh, rotor arm wasn't turning. So, yeah, so I'm a bit nervous of oil pumps. <laughs> um, so you can see I've got the uh, cap off of number two. Um, the bearing... <clears throat> Can just bring this into the foreground it looks okay actually i mean it looks slightly worn but it doesn't look that bad to me there's a very small amount of scoring which i guess is some sort of can there must have been a contamination in the oil at some point um the luckily the crank itself looks as though it's in good shape it's not scratched or anything um so i've got new big end bearings coming the only thing is, I I had a sudden thought, if this thing has been rebuilt before, maybe the crankshaft's been ground, and maybe these aren't standard size shells. So I'm going to have to um, measure them, uh, measure the crank. Just a little added bit. I've now, as you can see, I've pushed the uh, piston up a bit so I can expose the uh, other shell. Looks in the same sort of state. Got some slight scratching, but certainly not through to the backing material. Um, so looks okay the only thing is the the um the conrod moves quite easily backwards and forwards across the gud uh, the gudgeon pin so uh yeah i think that's okay i mean there's an interference fit isn't there in the piston but the i think the um it's not supposed to be an inter interference pit fit into the uh the actual uh bush in the end of the conrod so seems okay there's no sort of twisting you know sideways um you know it doesn't flat backwards and forwards so it's not totally shot it's quite loose but um seems okay um just hope all the other remaining shells are the same